All right, so it's been so long since I bought these chips that I gotta find them. I have to find them. What I mean by find them is in my pantry. It's been a while since I bought these. Hold on. What's up guys, it's Trav and I'm back again to try something else for you. Haven't done that intro in a while. I, I, I bounce back and forth, man, all right? Sometimes I just start the video. Sometimes I just ramble on and people just exit. And once again, Frankie the Fridge making too much noise. I did find them, by the way. Today's review is Doritos Tapatio from the sauce, you know, the sauce, uh, flavor Doritos. I'm excited about this. They've been out for a while, but I spotted one last bag on the shelf. Had to get it. And a Doritos Extra with two X's, flaming Hot Nacho. I'm excited about that one as well. The Tapatio Doritos, I'm really liking the look of these. They have a very nice seasoned sort of look going on. I like all the little specks. A little bit redder than the average Nacho Cheese Dorito. But I think that's kind of what we're going for. It's almost like the color of the bottle. I don't know, man. I'm just really excited about them. I like the sauce, but these compared to them, I wouldn't be like the first guy to be like, I know exactly what the sauce tastes like. To a T, I know it, but I feel like I haven't had it enough to really say. But let's see if the flavor sparks any kind of memory for me. I definitely like that a lot, and one reason is because the sweetness from the sauce definitely is there. It's got some heat, it definitely builds, but it's a very slow build. The heat is actually kicking in more so now after a little bit after tasting that. And now it's just one chip. Gotta go in for another one though, just to get the flavor profile going. I think the more I get into those, the more I really like them. It's that sweetness, it's that kick on them. It is some spice, back of the throat and tongue, like all over. It's not too much that a guy that doesn't eat that much spicy stuff can't handle. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of the regular flaming Hot Nacho Doritos, but with that Tapatio sweetness, I could tell that it's there. I remember that flavor. I could really get addicted to those if I'm not careful. I'm giving those like a solid 93. I really, really like them, putting them way up there. And in the A's, I really, really like it. Let me know in the comments if you tried Top Tio Doritos. Do you like the sauce? Do you not like the sauce? Are you saucy? I gotta have a little palate cleanser first though. I'm, I'm weird, man. I should just I should just not do this anymore. Now on to the extra flaming hot nacho. That might be the reddest chip I have ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, I I'm almost a little nervous about this. This is an extremely red chip. But hey, it's not ghost pepper or anything, so I'll survive, right? I'll I'll survive, right? Let's just do it. Extra flaming hot with two X's. Doritos. Okay. It's starting to build. I swallowed it. It's kind of starting to build. I'm just reflecting on Ian's reaction to these in his live stream. Uh exactly what Ian said in his live stream, where it's like, oh kind of disappointing at first. You expect the flavor, I mean, okay, the heat is definitely starting to build. Ian, you might have had, you might have had a faulty bag, a bad bag. Whew. Took a while to build and almost too long. It really took too long to build. And sometimes that, that's the way it is, but I don't like that last surprise. Tapatio takes that over that by a long shot. Tapatio, you get the sweetness. Go with one more here though. I'm kind of struggling on this one. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm with Ian on this one. I think I'm experiencing a little more heat than he did, but you know what? I just kind of flatlines. I feel like that's just as spicy as the regular, if not less. That makes no sense. It's supposed to be extra flaming Hot Nacho. Yeah, I don't, I don't even like the burn sensation. It has no flavor to it. It's just a burn. I feel the heat is there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I feel that heat and in my stomach, but you know what? They're just not even that great as for flavor or anything. I'm really surprised by that. You would think nacho would really pop out, but I guess you kind of have to take one or the other. You rather take some good heat or you take flavor. And sometimes chips are able to balance that out perfectly, but it's more rare than anything. Not technically a ver you know what? Should I make this a versus video? I feel like 
because of how much I'm comparing it to this. Let's just call it a versus because this is actually, th this, there is a winner here. There is something that I like a lot more. Extra flaming Hot Nacho though, mm, like 65. That's what I'm giving it. I, I don't know. I just don't even really like them, like at all. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you tried either one of these, do you like the top of two? Do you like the sauce from that? Do you like extra flaming Hot Nacho? Did you try the regular version of those, just flaming Hot Nacho? That was a big thing when it came out, and man, are they, they're on the shelves at like Walmart and other stores all the time, because I think they got some popularity, they got something um, to kind of go along with Cheetos, and almost probably against Cheetos in a way, Doritos is a big, uh, hugely popular chip, so yeah. Hey, before you head out though, there's some other reviews and content popping up over there for me, and I hope you enjoy that stuff, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, like, share, subscribe, and all the beautiful stuff, guys, and you beautiful people, see me in the next one, Throw out, peace out. Boop, boop.